The U.S. government is buying nearly 9 million rapid home tests from an Australian company called Elum at a price tag of $232 million. Artith Sashadri talks to Atlanta doctors about them. Doctors at Atlanta's Emory University Hospital are studying new rapid at-home COVID-19 tests thanks to a federal grant. These tests are good for that instant, right? Uh, it, it's a snapshot in time. If you're positive or you're negative, it means you're, you're, you're positive or negative that day. Emory doctors have tested the home kit since June and say the rapid tests have more false positives than a PCR test, but are cheaper. And make sure that these tests work for our, it is the capability to distinguish SARS-CoV-2 virus, the COVID-19 virus, from another virus, like a cold virus or a flu virus. So obviously any of those steps uh, there could be error, you know, much like there could be error, you know, for many of you who've taken pregnancy tests, right? The nasal swab tests could tell you if you are positive or negative for COVID-19 in 15 minutes. You swab your nose and then you have to put it into a little tube of fluid and then you put a dropper, that tube of fluid is also a dropper, you put a dropper onto a test strip and then that test strip will give a result uh, that then connects to your smartphone and the smartphone will say you're positive or negative. These rapid home tests, if approved, won't require a prescription. We uh, do testing for the public with the standard test, but then what we do is we enroll them in, in a research project to, where we're looking at these uh, new tests and we then can do a direct comparison right between the experimental test and the standard. So there, from each person, we can do an apples to apples comparison. Doctors say these tests could be the key to ending asymptomatic spread and could allow kids to get back into classrooms. Reporting in Atlanta, Archit Sashadri, Atlanta Bureau Chief.